Hey, this is Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and um, I'm going to do a flip through of my on-the-go November setup. I'm drinking some coffee. Um, okay, um, so this is sort of a two-part, two-parter. Um, what actually goes on-the-go with me is this, um, but this is sort of a, I'd say like a supplement to my... Um, on the go planner. So let's start with this one. Oh guys, um, I like keep getting called back. My spirit keeps getting called back to the Hobonichi weeks and I can't even, I can't even believe it because there's so many things about it that like don't, that shouldn't work for me, but I, I still can't help myself. Um, so uh, this is a Hobonichi Weeks in a Hobonichi Weeks clear cover, and I have um, the um, November Coco Daisy paper and some of the embellishments um, on the front of it. Um, on the inside, I have I made a pencil board with some of the papers from the Coco Daisy kit. Um, and just did a couple of little little pieces of decoration. These are really um, thin because they are actually from the printables. Um, so they are no, they're the stickers, and so they they actually lay really flat, which is nice. Um, and I just have a sticky note on the back, and that lives in the front. So I use this when I'm actually writing, and so that it I can have um, a flat space to to write on. Um, yep, there goes that. And then um, just some sticky notes, some sticky notes that match uh, this month's Coco Daisy kit, but also fit really nicely on the week's pages. Um, so there's that. Um, we have the monthly, which I love. I, I, this washi, and I really like this month's, I've already said this in another video, but I really like this month's kit. Um, it's really it's like speaking to me on every level um, so that's November and I made a bookmark um, this is just laminate paper or laminate sheet with some I laminated it first and then decorated it and then um, added some washi and then added a tab on top um, and then I, I've done I've done a flip through of this before and none of this has changed just because I haven't been in this planner for a little bit um, so that none of that's changed um, but I'll do a quick flip of the weeks pages because when I watch Hobonichi weeks videos what I really want to see is like what do your weeks look like um, and so I'll do a quick flip now because that's the kind of stuff I like um, so this is when I started using it a couple months ago. This is my favorite week. I love this one. I have a plan with me of this video. And so this is when I started using Hobonichi Weeks, Coco Daisy Weeks stickers in my Hobonichi Weeks. But I also love how other stickers fit in here really nicely. So Happy Planner stickers, um, all sorts of, this is from uh, Quinn Bouley, Bouley, Bouley. Um, yeah. And then some weeks I, I literally just wrote, you know, kind of what happened. Ooh, I also love this week too. I find I really like having like a swath of something in the corner, um, kind of ripped up and, and just sort of to give a punch of color. This is, this I, I planned the wrong week, but that's, yeah, it's never, neither here nor there. Um, and then this was last week. I love this week as well. And again, this is just a, this is a happy planner sticker that I just put down. Um, and what I'm finding is that I often, um, because my schedule has changed and I'm not working in an office, I, some of my to-dos go over almost the whole week. And so I actually like using these kind of stickers there. And then this is this week um, in my Hobonichi Weeks. 
Um, I should mention I did use one of the printable pages and just adhered the whole page down because I wanted, I sometimes struggle with writing in this planner and it's part of the reason I wasn't using it before was because um, I, I didn't like the pen that I was using. I was using the Hobonichi Weeks or the Hobonichi pen on these weeks and I just felt like it didn't pop off the page enough. Um, I like a dark pen and so when I once I found pens that I liked using which are the Sharpie pen carefully and then the pen I really like is the um, Stadler pigment liner pen. So those two pens for me have been working really well and have made me want to come back to this planner um, because they're they're a little bolder. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do just a full uh, printable page on the right side, um, and I really like how that turned out. Um, so yeah, so this is how my weeks are looking. Um, I did um, something I did do is I used the. Um, sticker sheet from the Coco Daisy Planner Kit um, to just go ahead and mark some things off for the for the whole month. So I've I've gotten into a bit of a system with things like meal prep and planning, grocery shopping, cleaning, and then more more grocery shopping. So I decided to go ahead and put those stickers on the page. Um, and then I had some extra ones, so I used I used the extra stickers for that. So that it's nice. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I like putting in here because it's a good reminder to myself. Like, all oh, right, Monday meal plan, grocery shop. Thursday grocery shop. Like, it's just it. It's been th that works for me. And then I just I mean I think what I love about this planner is just this totally open page to do whatever I want with. So that's really nice. And um, then in the back, I did another printable page um, for a November brain dump, mini size, <laughs> Omanichi size, and then that's it. Um, in the back here, I have um, a washi card that has washi that matches this kit. And then some more just uh, printables that I can use on the pages if I want to. Um, and that lives in the back there. Yeah, so that's what's in my cover um, inside. This, so this is like, this goes with me. And um, I really, it's been, I don't know, I can't, I can't even really put my finger on why I love this little Hobonichi so much, but I really do. I think part of it is that it feels a little bit journal, a little bit planner, and a little traveler's notebooky, which is which has been really fun. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so that's my on the go setup um, in my Hobonichi weeks. And then this is what I'm actually calling sort of like my morning planner um, because it has elements of sort of my morning plan in it. So what I mean is, and, and da morning daily planner, I would say. Um, so to start, I just have, this is a sticker book from Journal Inspiration, which I love. It's so cute, those little icons, oh my gosh. Um, and then my week stickers are in here. Inside a pouch I made with the um, packaging that this came with and then has uh, Simon and Betty. Um, which is so cute. I really love making handmade gifts. I, I, I really um, love getting handmade gifts. <laughs> so cute. Um, and so that, that lives in the pocket. And then I have um, just some extra little paper scraps that I can use on the pages. And then, yeah, so that lives in the pocket. And then this first little insert is another Hobonichi um, cover. This paper is from, oh man, it probably, I would have to say November, Coco Daisy's November 2017 kit. And I've just been hoarding it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been hoarding it for two years. 
and it was now time to use it. Um, another Cocoa Daisy dashboard. And, um, and then inside, I have the stencil that came with this month's kit, which I'm really excited about. Some, uh, some label stickers that are the, from the printable, um, another piece from the printable, um, some uh, coffee cups that I stamped and then colored in, and then just some washi, a uh, little washi card with washi that goes with this kit. And then, um, so this insert is a, actually it was a B6 size insert that I trimmed. All I did was trim it on the side. I didn't trim the top. You can see it's a little shorter than a Hobonichi Weeks, but once it's in the cover, you can't tell. Um, and I am using this for what I've been calling my daily download. And basically what that means is um, it's like a daily journal. Um, but I do it the morning after so like today is Wednesday and so I did Tuesday's daily download this morning so I will write um, what I did that day uh, what I accomplished that day things I'm grateful for and then other like reflections from the day so that might be like I'm, I'm looking forward to this for t tomorrow or it's just a thought I might have had that like yeah, I should probably like work through that, and so that will go there. So this is um, this is how I will be using this. I did the same thing in October, and I really liked it, and it was really helpful. And then the other thing I did, y'all, this hack blew even blew my mind. So let me grab the original. Um, so. Webster's Pages has composition size daily pages. And these are really, actually really nice daily pages, but they're quite large and I certainly don't need this much space, uh, real estate for a daily page. But I was like, hmm, what would happen if I trimmed it down to be Hobonichi Week size? And y'all, it worked perfectly. Um, so this is how it looks. It, it trims a little bit of this side, cuts it off, but that's fine. I end up covering this anyways because I tracked that elsewhere. Um, and so I'm like excited to try to use this. I might, and it's undated, so I can kind of use it whenever. Now I did this after, so I just have that um, just in the middle, just on the strings. Oh, I should mention too, this is a print pression cover. <laughs> um, in the and I think it's, I don't remember, jade maybe, teal, oh, I don't remember the color name, but it's just lovely, it's so beautiful. So I did this after I started an actual daily planning page in my print pression, I'll get there in a second. Anyways, more stickers in the back, Virgo and paper, some more stencils. These are Planner Society stencils. And then these are the, the stickers I'm using to date the daily download page. Okay, and then here is a Print Prussian grid notebook. Um, so it has just literally just grid pages. Um, the paper quality is super nice. Um, and I have not had any bleed through or, I mean, I think pretty minimal ghosting. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it ghosts a little, but I mean, I write with some pretty dark pens. So um, yeah, so for this, this is my like actual daily setup um, and somewhat social media tracker. So here I have the um, Coco Daisy Planner Challenge. Um, and sort of the process down here of what I need to do to actually get those photos posted. Um, and then I have another tracker down here for my personal posts, for um, other sharing to other Facebook groups, and then YouTube. Um, and what I, what I wanted to do was actually create sort of a weekly schedule for myself of like what I need to be doing creatively each day to make sure I'm actually creating content and not just thinking about creating content. Um, so that's what that is. Here is a little monthly I put together. Um, and 
I just use scraps and scraps from the kit and I love it, it looks amazing. And then I have a December monthly as well laid out in here as well. Um, and then, so the so what I decided I wanted to use this for is for daily, daily pages. So um, my to-dos on this side, my today stuff on this side, um, and I set it up for one week and we'll see, um, you know, see how it goes. Um, if I like it, I'll keep doing it in this format. If I don't like it, I might switch over to trying this out. Um, but yeah, so that's my um, little companion, if you will, companion Hobonichi um, for my actual Hobonichi. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope that makes sense, and um, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below, and I will try to answer them. Um, yeah, I, I think that's it. Um, <laughs> so I'll see you in my next video. Bye!